So down here I have my journals. I have my filled out ones and then I have empty journals. That is what we're going through today. Well, welcome back to my channel. We have a bit of a different setup today. Today I'm going to be showing you my empty journals. So this is kind of an empty journal collection. Someone suggested this in the comments of one of my videos and I've actually never heard of these before. Maybe they are a thing on YouTube. So I thought it was a cool idea. I just looked it up and it definitely is a thing on YouTube. I am a little surprised that I've actually never come across them before. So I'm just going to be going through all of my empty journals, all of my unused journals. So I guess let's just get right into it. So I mostly keep my unused journals in these two pouches. These pouches are from Daiso and I love them. I love the green. Green is my favorite color and I think they're just fun and I like how they're clear. I love clear organizing containers and like anything for storage because it makes it easier to access and see what's inside. I also have some stray notebooks. They're like newer notebooks or like these two I just like found in my room recently. So we might as well go through these stray new journals first I guess. So these three are mini journals. I mean these two are binders and this is a notebook and they're all miniature. I actually hauled these in an upcoming video where I got things from Staples and I literally couldn't resist them. These are little binders and they just come with plain pages. You can find these at at Staples. The rainbow one is my favorite. And then this is just a little mini notebook and it has a button closure. I don't like how dark the lines are, but I couldn't resist how like cute and tiny it is. So this one I just hauled in my Walmart haul video. It's in their back to school supplies this year. I tested my markers in it, which you guys saw in that video. The lines aren't too bad. I wish they were a little lighter, but again, I like the cover. So I'll find something to use it for. These two are like composition books. They're so cute. I forgot why I have them or like where they're from. I think I had to rip some stuff out of one of them, but I just think they're super cute. The lines are really nice in the inside. They're light. They go all the way across, so I enjoy that about them. Um, I think this actually could be fun to use as a journal because I like the lines and I enjoy the size, and also I can still put stickers on it because the pattern is plain enough. And then the last one outside of these is is this to stay curious and it has a cat on it i love this cat illustration i'm a huge cat person i mean i'm just a big animal person but cats just i relate with the most i think this inside is really pretty and the lines are nice as well that's something big that i look out for in notebooks is the lines i like them to be light and not too wide i'm more of a college rule person and i like that it has a little bookmark but i was thinking that this might be my next like everyday journal because I can still fit some stickers on the outside but I really love decorating my journals with stickers so that would be the reason why I don't end up using this for my next everyday journal. Now let's dive into these two organizers. I have a smaller one and a larger one. So the larger ones I think I put my more plain journals and these are my colorful ones so I think I'm going to save the fun ones to the end. So yeah, these are definitely more plain. This one is just a Muji journal. Oh my god, I actually started using this one. I never ended up like really using it though. Maybe I should pick up this journal. So what this journal was, was a kawaii reset journal. Hashtag reset kawaii journaling challenge 2019. I didn't start this in 2019. It was like after the challenge. Actually, I might have. It was like as the challenge was ending and I didn't know she renewed the challenge and like made updated versions. So I'm pretty sure this is made by Rainbowholic. If it's not made by her she just participates in it and so that's where I saw it from I didn't do any of the printouts I just wrote them myself and I think I just wrote down the ones that I like wanted to use I don't know what I did but yeah this isn't really used I also use this journal for the photo shoot of the stickers that are on my Etsy shop right now so definitely go check those out and maybe purchase one if you like it I have some really fun new designs but I'm postponing putting them up until more of those current stickers are sold I will literally just disappeared for a minute because my family is being annoying so we're moving on from this one love muji 
apparently they're going bankrupt and i'm very sad like what that doesn't make sense so i'm very upset about that even though it doesn't like feel real anyway these oh my god these journals match these are both cork journals this one was from like a home goods or yeah i think it was from like a home goods just a cork journal oh my god oh my god i remember what i used this journal for so the first like two pages or something are notes from a thing that i went to it is a diversity leadership conference so if anyone went to that comment down below but i, I took notes so this is like barely filled out this is my empty journal slash barely filled out this one is from ikea i think it either came alone or came with a black one as well this one i really wanted to go to japan so i started planning a trip but like i don't know there wasn't much i could talk about so these journals i'll probably like start over one day or try to continue them not real sure about that i have no idea what this journal is it's a moleskin so it's real nice so this one was a sketchbook i guess so i was trying to make a sketchbook it started in september of 2019 it has some horrible drawings Actually, the sunflower is not that bad. Kind of like the squash. I don't know. I tried. Really tried here. That's literally as far as I got. I have a ton of other sketchbooks. Um, so let me know if you want me to go through all of my art journals. I have no idea what this composition notebook is. I'm kind of afraid to look at it. Oh, okay. So this journal they gave to me at the leadership conference. This notebook they gave me at that conference I was talking about. So some of the pages are filled out, but really not that many. I didn't know that they were going to give me a journal. So those are the plain journals and apparently a lot of them are started. So now we have the fun journals, which I've already started using some of them. I actually have some fun ones left. So these journals, these fun journals are often smaller and like thinner and I use them for very narrowed down topic journals, which I have a video where I go through like all the different types of journals I keep and I have my regular journal and that's the one I really use and then I have some journals on the side that are very niche down and definitely not used as much as my main journal but they're just made to be on the side and not filled out as fast so that's what these journals would be used for or like will be used for this one is from kino i never know if i'm saying it right but i didn't actually buy this i think my sister did she ended up giving it to me but i think it's so cute so i'm not mad about it at all oh the page is actually really nice on the inside they're an orange so they're not dark lines which i love they have some cute little icons at the corner these are like all my really pretty ones then i have this one which oh my god this one it has like sriracha and chinese food and fortune cookies there's like shrimp and i love the smiley faces so i just really love smiley faces and so i loved that about it also i love sriracha so i was like Ooh. So this came in a pack of three. One of them is in use and it has Lucky Cats all over it. And that's why I really bought it because I really wanted the Lucky Cat notebook. But like this is my second favorite. Maybe my top one from the trio. But this was the third one. Which is also super cute. And it's a sushi one and it has these cool fish on it. Like more of a fish icon rather than like an illustration of sushi. Then this one also came in a set of two. And I'm using one of them as my reading journal. But I haven't used this one yet and I love this this one so much it's the same on both sides it says notebook on it i love cats and i love the color palette so it's perfect this is a blank journal which are a little more difficult but i'm using the other one as a reading journal and it's not that much of a problem so yeah those are all my currently empty journals I'm starting to steer away from like super niche journals because I'd rather just have everything in one place. It makes it a lot easier. So I have really no idea how I'm going to fill all these journals, but I love them and I always hold on to them so that I can start a new journal whenever. These are all my empty journals. 
hopefully you enjoyed this video shout out to the person who suggested this video also i started a stationary tiktok it's called kate van leuven underscore stationary and i make stationary tiktoks so the reason why i made a tiktok was hopefully to help with like my etsy shop and my and my youtube so this is what it looks like i'm not really on tiktok so i kind of just would do whatever but go check them out maybe give me a follow especially if you like this content it's a lot easier for me to make tiktok videos than youtube videos because they're just super quick if you want a little extra something from me they're short videos so they don't take up too much of your time go check out this page like i have like little hauls i might get copyrighted i have like some videos where i'm actually journaling just all that kind of stuff. I even did a little sneak peek into how I so made I these it. stickers. I've only posted one of them. And it's just literally the time lapse of how I drew the design. That's it for the video. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below because why not? And I will see you in my next video. Also, I think my next video is going to be a first day of school. Really dreading going back to school, but it's coming up, guys. So... I'll see you then.